welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fourth and final video in my eat this not that savvy ww swaps this video is my all time favorite because we are going to be talking all things snacks all things dessert and i'm going to share with you some really amazing savvy swaps that you can make on some of your favorite snacks and desserts to work them into your ww plan just a little bit better so i am super pumped for this video i can't wait to share it with you we have a lot of snacks and desserts to go over so let's jump right in on our snacks list is cottage cheese. This is such a great high protein nutrient dense snack. You have to watch your milk fat on your cottage cheeses and pick one that has a little bit less milk fat so that it's a little bit less smart points. So for example, you do not want to pick a 4% milk fat cottage cheese. You're going to want to go for a low fat or a 2% cottage cheese. My favorite is Daisy. It's absolutely delicious. You can have an entire cup for two smart points. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I love adding fun things to my cottage cheese like croutons, if, if I'm looking for something kind of savory, or I like to add fruit, canned fruit, or the no sugar added fruit cups to my cottage cheese to give it that little burst of sweetness if I'm looking for more of a sweet treat. Also, you can go the fat-free route of cottage cheese. It's just not my favorite. I really prefer to take a little extra point hit and get the 2% milk fat cottage cheese. But if you're looking for a great snack that's packed with protein and really good nutrient dense, go ahead and pick cottage cheese. While we're talking about cottage cheese, I wanna to touch a little bit more on fruit cups. I did mention that I do like to add fruit cups to my cottage cheese. Make sure that you are selecting one that is in water or that is no sugar added. Those regular fruit cups with sugar are so high in smart points because that liquid that they're in is pure sugar. So make sure you're selecting a no sugar added or a fruit cup packed in water when you're picking those fruit cups. These are great to have fruit on the go and packed in water or no sugar added are zero smart points on all plans. What about bars? You know, those protein bars, those snack bars. I'm going to share with you some of my favorites, but I want to caution you to stay away from a lot of other protein bars and snack bars on the market because they are so high in smart points based on their sugar content. For example, you wanna steer clear of the Nature Valley, like the sweet and salty, the ones that are coated in chocolate or yogurt, or that have that chocolatey coating on the bottom. Those ones are gonna be a lot higher in smart points. You wanna stick with your fiber one, 70 or 90 calorie, I will be the first to tell you, I don't care for the fiber one, 70 calorie. The only one I've tried is the lemon and I did not like it at all. I thought it had an absolutely terrible aftertaste. So if you do enjoy those, stick with those 70 or cal 90 calorie fiber one as far as like granola bars go. Or go for a kid's version or a mini granola bar. You're gonna save a lot of points, but you're still going to be able to indulge in a granola bar if that's really what you're craving for that day for a snack. But as far as protein bars go, same kind of concept applies. I don't think having a protein bar over 200 calories is always the best choice for a snack. I like to keep my snacks 200 calories or less or five smart points or less. So when you get over that 200 calorie mark or you get into those big bars like those builder bars or even your cliff bars, you're gonna have eight, nine, 10 smart points. So I like to stick with under 200 calorie bars. As you know, my favorite is the built bar. This isn't a protein bar. This is not your mama's protein bar. These are packed full of delicious nests. They taste like a candy bar, but they have protein, fiber, and fat, so they keep you satisfied and full. They are three to four smart points a bar. Most of them are three smart points. When you get into the nut, type of bars, that's where you're going to have a little bit more points. For example, the peanut butter is four smart points. But I love the coconut almond, that is three points. I love the raspberry, it's three points. The mint brownie delight is three points. So highly recommend Built Bar. My code here on the screen will get you 10% off and free shipping. If you're looking for a great, satisfying, keep you full, tastes like a candy bar, protein bar, Built Bar is absolutely the way 
to go. The other bar that I like is Quest. My only complaint about Quest is that it sometimes hurts my stomach and I absolutely cannot have more than one Quest bar in a day or I'm in some serious trouble. So I like them, but I find them to be more expensive than the Built Bar. And again, they seem to bother my stomach where the Built Bar doesn't. So the moral of the story on granola bars and protein bars, watch your sugar, watch your calories, and try not to have over five points or so in any of those snacks because it, you're going to want to pair that with something else generally and if your protein bar or your granola bar take up all your snack points then that's kind of a bummer so make sure that you're selecting a lower point granola bar or protein bar. What about chips? I love chips, but I like chips so much that I have to stay away from full bags of chips. And if I do decide to buy a full size bag of chips, I immediately have to put them into serving size bags or I will overeat. So I tend to find myself purchasing those prepackaged, pre-portioned out chips. I really like the variety packs that you can get at Costco. They have everything from rice cakes, to popcorners, to all of your favorite baked lays and chips to your choosing. Now, if you do decide to buy a full bag of chips, I recommend portioning those out right away. That way you're watching your portions, you're not overeating your chips. And my favorite as far as full size bags go are 100% the poppables. I love the poppables. They are so good. You can have a ton of them for the smart points. They're airy, they're delicious, they have great flavor, and they absolutely satisfy that crunch factor, hands down. I also enjoy pop chips. I like the ones with ridges because they kind of remind me of actual real greasy, bad for you potato chips. I love the barbecue. That's a great option if you're looking for more of an actual chip. And another great chip option if you like Cheetos are the Trader Joe's Reduced Guilt Cheeto Puffs. These are amazing. They taste like real Cheetos, but they are so low in smart points that you can have a ton for the points. So those are my three favorite come in the big bag, pre-portioned out snacks. Again, I recommend the pre-portioned individual packages if you struggle with portion control or if you're someone that isn't very good about pre-portioning them out and you tend to overeat, try to stick with those. But my big tip is if you are going to indulge in the pop chips of the world, make sure that you just pre-portion them out right away. That way you're not tempted to overeat. Crackers is another great snack, but I find myself tending to overeat those as well. So I kind of do the same thing as I do with the chips. When I buy a box of crackers, I immediately weigh them out on my food scale, put them in pre-portioned bags, and then that way when I want a cracker, I just grab a bag and the smart points are written on there with the Sharpie. And again, I'm not overeating. I absolutely love the Trader Joe's Gorgonzola crackers. These are one of my all time favorites. I love these because you don't have to dip them in anything. They are so flavorful and delicious all by themselves that you save the points of having to dip them in some sort of a dip or like a sauce. Also, I love the Good Things Corn Crisps. You can have like 41 of these for three or four smart points. It's insane how many you can have. And these are like a tortilla chip of sorts. That's what they taste like, but they are a cracker consistency. These are absolutely delicious dipped in salsa. You can also dip these in queso. And I also like to spread laughing cow cheese wedge on these. It's so delicious. And another cracker that's great for a cheese wedge, one of the laughing cows, is reduced fat ritz. I'll put the points here on the screen for a serving, but you can spread a wedge of that Laughing Cow cheese on those Ritz crackers and you are indulging in a delicious buttery sweet cracker. So same rule applies with crackers. Go ahead and buy the box, but make sure you're pre-portioning them out so that you're not overeating. Another couple of honorable mentions of crackers are Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its love them and also i really like the cheese it snapped which is kind of a cross between a cheese it and a chip so it's a great alternative if you love crackers and chips you're getting a little bit of both in this one product so again pre-portion those out right away that way you're not overindulging beef jerky is another absolutely fantastic snack option on ww it's generally super low in smart points and it packs a huge punch of protein so it's a great snack to pair with those crackers or chips so that you're getting your carb but you're also substituting in a protein as well any beef jerky is a good choice i find that if you pick a regular or a peppered beef jerky or turkey jerky you're going to have a lot less points than if you're picking something more on the sweet side like that 
Korean barbecue jerky or even a teriyaki jerky, you're going to see an elevation in smart points because of the sugar content of those jerky. So I always pick either a turkey jerky, a plain, or a peppered, and you can literally have a serving of jerky for one to two smart points. And again, it's great if you pair that with some chips or some crackers, or maybe you want to pair that with something sweet as a great morning or afternoon snack. So highly recommend jerky for the smart points value and the protein. The kid in me sometimes wants a package of fruit snacks. I know, I'm a full grown adult, but I love fruit snacks. So I have searched high and low for the brand of fruit snack that I have found to be the best and the most point friendly, and that is the Welch's. So the Welch's fruit snacks, whether you pick the regular fruit or the tropical fruit, I know I think they have a berry blend as well. They are three smart points per little pouch. So again, it's a great snack. You can pair that with a cheese stick for one smart point, or maybe a serving of jerky for one or two smart points, and you've got your something sweet, and you've got your protein. These are also great to throw in your lunch bag if you want a sweet treat along with your lunch. And for only three smart points, you can't beat it. There are other fruit snacks, of course, out on the market, but I find point value and flavor Welch's is top notch. What about popcorn? Popcorn is a fabulous snack. Now, if you air pop popcorn, it is zero smart points on the purple plan. So that is definitely a fantastic snack. You can top it with a little bit of nutritional yeast, which is kind of a cheesy flavored flake that's really good for you, but also kind of gives you that bit of cheesiness on your popcorn. Of course, you can add a little bit of salt, and then they also make some great popcorn seasonings that are zero to one smart points, depending on the amount that you're using. So popped popcorn, air pop, at home, fresh from the kernel is a great option, and you can really have the most popcorn for the smart points that way. But if you're looking for convenience, there are some great popcorn options that are convenient. They come in the 100 calorie little packs. Jolly Time, I know, makes one. They have butter, they have kettle corn, you name it, they have it. And they're 100 calories per mini bag. So you don't feel bad eating the whole bag because it's three or four smart points. And it's made for you to eat the entire bag and stay within your smart points. If you do go for the full size microwave popcorn bags, make sure you're weighing out a serving on your food scale because if you're anything like me, you can eat that entire full-size bag without even thinking. So popcorn is a great snack. It's full of nutrients, it keeps you full, and it's actually a great carbohydrate if you're going to choose one for a snack. While we're talking popcorn, let's touch on rice cakes. Rice cakes are a great snack. If you watch my What I Eat in a videos, day videos, you know that I'm loving a sweet treat at night with a rice cake. It is a caramel rice cake topped with seven grams of Jif Whips for one smart point and seven grams of the Hershey's light syrup. Not the sugar-free, because it's disgusting, but the light syrup and it's zero smart points. So that is a three smart point snack. I'm getting the sweetness of the caramel rice cake, I'm getting a little bit of protein with the Jif Whips, and then again, the sweetness of that Hershey syrup on top. And for three smart points, yes, please. Also, I bought the little packages of rice cakes from Quaker from Costco. Those are great. They range from three to four smart points. They're pre-portioned. You can't overeat them. I like to have those sometimes with a wrap or a sandwich for lunch. And the caramel and the apple cinnamon are on the sweet side, so they make a great dessert or a great snack as well. There are tons of rice cake options. Full size, minis, you name it, they have them. Whether you're choosing savory or sweet, rice cakes are a great option, especially especially if you pair them with something else like I do with the peanut butter. They're easy to eat, they taste delicious, and they're just a really great snack option that will save you a ton of points. I wanna talk about nuts because you may think there's no way I'm eating anybody's kind of nuts on Weight Watchers because they are so high in smart points. They are, you're correct, but watch your portion and you can have nuts. Nuts are great for your heart. They are nutrient dense, they're full of protein, healthy fat, I recommend getting the little 100 calorie packs of nuts. I know they have almonds, and I believe they even have like a cocoa dusted almond. They also have almonds and walnuts. These are great to watch portion control. It's 100 calories, it's three smart points, and you still feel like you're getting that heart healthy, delicious nuts as part of your diet. You can also buy the full containers. I love the bold almonds in the wasabi and soy sauce. Those are my favorite. I do have to 
pre-portion them because I can eat that whole canister. I literally love them. So I have to pre-portion those myself, but it's still a great option. I can make a two, three, four, or five smart point portion of nuts by weighing them out on my food scale. So if you're someone that's looking for convenience and pre-portion, grab those 100 calorie packs. If you want to try some of the other fun flavors of nuts that are out there, or maybe nuts that don't come in the pre-portioned packages, like pecans or macadamia nuts or cashews, go ahead and just weigh them out on your food scale. I highly recommend pre-portioning them because if you're anything like me, you can eat a lot of nuts. Meat sticks is another great high protein snack. Costco generally has the meat sticks that you can find for anywhere from one to three smart points. We're talking chicken, turkey, pepperoni, sausage types of sticks. The smaller the stick, the less smart points. Watch your ingredients and just make sure you're scanning and calculating the beef sticks or the meat sticks that you're choosing. But they're a great snack. You can pair those with a string cheese. You can even have them with a little package of rice cakes and you're having a carb and a protein. So it makes a really good snack. I know Costco, again, has some great options. Also, you can find the little shorty sticks and those are generally pretty low in smart points as well. But from what I've found as far as meat sticks goes, the lowest smart point ones are Vermont. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but you're gonna be able to have those for one to two smart points for a stick and they're really, really delicious. So meat sticks are a great snack as well. You can even have them alongside your lunch for that extra boost of protein. The last snack I wanna share with you before we move into dessert options are olives. Olives are a great snack. Whether you're a black olive lover or a green olive lover, they're a fabulous snack. Again, pre-portion them out, put them in a little baggie. You can even buy the individual little bags of olives at Trader Joe's. I think they're 99 cents and they have one serving of green olives in them. Also, the store does sell olives to go. They are pretty pricey. They come in these little individual plastic cups and that's a portion of olives. So if you're trying to save money, buy a can of olives, just pre-portion them out in little containers and they make an absolutely great snack. Again, pair them with something of protein or carbs and you have a great snack. So let's jump into dessert. So let's talk about some of my favorite dessert options on WW. First, I wanna talk about sugar-free pudding. I have kind of rediscovered this. This is something that I ate a while ago and kind of lost sight of it on my radar and then rediscovered it and I am loving it. Sugar-free pudding is a great, great dessert. It is two smart points per cup. You can't overeat because it's pre-portioned in a cup. Top it with a little fat-free Ready Whip. I made a delicious like frozen pudding sandwich that I got from my friend at Sophie Marie D. If you have not checked out her channel, I'll put it here on the screen for you. She's amazing, she's hilarious. She made this dessert and it's so good. You take a pudding cup and some Jif whips and you put half the pudding cup in a muffin tin, top it with a little bit of Jif whips, about seven grams, one point's worth, and then put the other half of the pudding cup on top, throw it in your freezer and you have like a pudding peanut butter dessert for three points. So good, but I love sugar-free pudding. You can top it with chocolate chips, marshmallows, again, fat-free Ready Whip, just a great, really low smart point option. They have chocolate, vanilla, tons of flavors, so definitely recommend sugar-free pudding. Another one of my favorite desserts are smart cakes. You guys know this, I love, love, love them. I pair them with a yogurt, either a Dan and Lighten Fit or a Too Good or a Siggy's, and I make a parfait with them. So I take one of the smart cakes, a cup of yogurt and some fat-free Ready Whip, and I layer that into an amazing parfait, and it's three to four smart points, depending on how much fat-free Ready Whip you use. Highly recommend the smart cakes. They come in tons of flavors, orange, vanilla, raspberry, chocolate, cinnamon. They are one smart point a piece. They are keto-friendly, they are low-carb, they're gluten-free, they're amazing. I even sometimes will pop it in the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds and just eat it nice and warm, like a piece of warm, delicious cake or a cupcake. They are so good. They have this really yummy, cinnamony, sugary coating on top. Highly recommend. And for one smart point, if you're really looking for a really good low smart point dessert, smart cakes are the way to go. One point for a little cake. 
You can order those off of the Smart Baking website. My code here on the screen will get you 10% off. This is the same company that sells the Smart Buns, which are the one Smart Point hamburger buns, and they also sell the Smart Muffins, which you know are one of my other absolute favorite sweet treat desserts. These are huge muffins, huge, like Costco size muffins for two to three Smart Points. I love the banana nut and the pumpkin, and they also make a chocolate chip. So highly recommend checking out smartbakingco.com, picking up the smart cakes, the smart muffins, and taking a look at those smart buns as well. A new find for me, which I am so excited about, are dessert shells. Now I found these at Walmart. They are a dollar a package for a pack of four. So it's a steal, a quarter, a dessert shell. It is a cross between a yellow cake and an angel food cake. It is so good. And the little dessert shell is only three smart points. I slice up some fresh strawberries, top it with a little fat-free ready whip, that free ready whip, you guys, is a must have on your journey. Make sure your fridge is fully stocked. You can have up to five tablespoons for zero points. So you're gonna hear a lot about fat free ready whip because I use it on a ton of desserts. So I take that little dessert shell, some strawberries, some fat free ready whip, and I have a three smart point strawberry shortcake. Absolutely delicious. I usually stock up and I'll just throw them in my freezer. They freeze great. You can just pop them out as you need to use them. Delicious. Sugar-free Jello is another great dessert option. It is zero smart points and they have every flavor you can think of. They do come in individual little cups, so that's super convenient. And again, a little fat-free ready whip on top and you have a zero smart point dessert. You can also buy the boxes of sugar-free Jello and make your own. You can also use sugar-free Jello in non-fat Greek yogurt and cottage cheese and over grapes to make a really delicious dessert. So sugar-free jello is something I always have in my house because I'm always adding it to something or making it for a zero point dessert. Highly recommend having sugar-free jello in your pantry and maybe a cup or two in your fridge. Another delicious dessert is brownies. And this is where we can go back to the fiber one. So fiber one makes a 70 calorie brownie. I have not tried the brownie. Like I said, I've only had the lemon and I did not like it at all, but I've heard that the brownie is really good. So if you're wanting a brownie, nuke it for 10 or 15 seconds. You could even top it with some Jif Whips, a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip, some sugar-free caramel sauce, lots of options to make a ooey gooey brownie dessert. You could even take it and crumble it up over some Halo Top or Enlightened Ice Cream and really feel like you're indulging in a brownie sundae for a reasonable, very reasonable amount of smart points. There's also sugar-free brownie mix that comes in a box. You can make your own brownies. You can make them however you want, whatever flavor. You could add a little bit of extract like coconut or peppermint and make a delicious brownie homemade that you can use for the same purpose as the fiber one. So brownies are still in our eating plan, especially if you're choosing the right brownies. Since I mentioned sugar-free caramel sauce, let's talk a little bit more about it. Sugar-free caramel sauce is delicious. Smucker's makes a great squeezable one. It is or can be high in smart points just watch your portion of it and you can work it into your day. It's great to drizzle over the top of those brownie sundaes or even over a pudding cup. And if you lower the serving, you can have a zero or one smart point amount of the sugar-free caramel sauce. Also, like I mentioned earlier, the Hershey's Light is amazing. You guys, it tastes like real Hershey's syrup but it is half the calories. And one serving of it, I believe, is one or two smart points. But again, if you go seven grams or less, it's zero. So you can use that as a nice drizzle over your dessert. And seven grams is a lot. It is a lot of Hershey's sauce for zero smart points. So definitely have those two sauces on hand. They're great to incorporate into basically any dessert. What if you want candy? Just some good, Old fashioned candy. Highly recommend Smart Sweets. Smart Sweets, Smart Sweets. That is your biggest bang for your candy buck on WW. They actually just reformulated their candy and took out the questionable fiber. I guess the fiber that they used was questionable whether it affected your blood sugar. So they took that out and they also changed their sugar to allulose. So they do not use any sugar alcohols at all in their candy. Allulose is naturally derived from figs and raisins. It does not upset your digestive system and it does not raise your GI index. So it's a great sugar. So they've reformulated their smart sweets and you guys, they're even better than they were before. They have peach rings, sweet fish, fruity and sour gummy bears and sour blast buddies, which are like sour patch kids. You can have the entire bag of candy for three points. 
a bag of candy for three points. That's insane. And they're all delicious. My favorite is the peach rings. I love the sweet fish. And then from there, I absolutely love just the fruity gummy bears. So there is something if you're a fruity person or a sour person, go over to smartsweets.com. My code will get you free shipping so you can head over and try them out. The new allulose sweetened ones are not out in the stores yet. They're only available online, but the shipping is free. So why go to the store? You generally pay more. You can have them shipped to your doorstep for free with my code. So highly recommend Smart sweets if you're wanting just a good old fashioned bag of candy. Another dessert I love is sugar-free or no sugar added pie filling. I've shown this several times on my channel. I love the cherry. I can generally only find it at Walmart, but I know that the Wilderness brand also makes a no sugar added. I just struggle to find that. I can find the no sugar added cherry and apple pie at Walmart. You can have a ton of a ton for one smart point. What I like to do with it is I will put it in a little dish. I'll top it with one serving of Lily's chocolate chips and some fat free ready whip. Delicious. Another thing you can do is use this on those dessert, dessert shells that we talked about in place of strawberries. And you can also buy the little graham cracker individual pie crust and add some pie filling to that and some fat free ready whip. And you literally have a mini personal cherry or apple pie. Such a great dessert low smart points and absolutely delicious. Chocolate, who doesn't love chocolate? Oh, my husband hates chocolate, but most people love chocolate. And you would think that chocolate would be really high in points. A lot of it is, your Hershey's, those types of things are really high in points, but you can sub those out with an alternative. Lily's chocolate chips are amazing. They're so good. I love making pancakes and putting some Lily's chocolate chips in there. I talked about how I will add those to my dessert with that pie filling. It's so good. You can top the sugar-free pudding with it. You can also buy Lily's chocolate bars. They are a little bit on the pricey side. They are sweetened with stevia, but it's a great alternative if you want chocolate. They have milk chocolate, dark chocolate. They have them with fruit and salted and not salted. So Lily's chocolate bars are a great option. You can have a large serving for the smart points. And also again, sugar-free, or I'm sorry, Hershey's light chocolate syrup is a great chocolate option. So chocolate is not out of the question on WW. You just have to pick the right chocolate. Lastly, let's talk about ice cream. Can you believe we're at the end of the snack desserts? I can't even believe it. But I wanted to go out with a bang and talk about ice cream. I love ice cream. I have recently found my new favorite, which is the Simple Truth Organic brand. It is a Fred Meyer or Kroger brand, but you can have these delicious ice cream bars for three smart points. The peanut butter chocolate chip is so good. It is loaded with chocolate chips for three points. I also love the Enlightened bars. Those are delicious. Yasso makes a really good ice cream bar and also does Halo Top. They make little mini bars that are two points. So good. Speaking of Halo Top, you can also buy really good low point ice cream by the carton. Halo Top, Enlightened are great options. Sugar-free popsicles are great. They're usually zero to one smart points. So you can still have ice cream. And that's what's so exciting. That's why I love WW. If I want ice cream for dessert, I just work ice cream into my day, make sure I have the points available, and voila, I have ice cream for dessert. And on kind of the ice cream note, I want to give an honorable mention to Cleo bars. Cleo bars, I've talked about these in my top 20 foods, are delicious. I have found these at Walmart. You can also order them off of the Cleo bar website. The vanilla is my favorite. It literally tastes like cheesecake. Now they're small guys. They're about this big and they are five to six smart points. They have great ingredients. They are a Greek yogurt based bar and they're covered in the most delicious chocolate. So if you have the points to spare, it's a good nutritional, great ingredient dessert. So Cleo bars are my honorable mention on the ice cream, but there are so many WW friendly ice creams out there. In fact, WW even makes ice cream. So definitely start the hunt for some ice cream as the weather starts to get warmer and make sure that your freezer is stocked with ice cream you can eat. And guess what? Your family's probably going to enjoy it just as much. All right, that's it for the Eat This, Not That Savvy WW Swap series. I know you guys have absolutely loved these videos. You keep messaging me saying I've given you so many great ideas. That seriously warms my heart because that's exactly why I like to put these videos out. This one, of course, is my favorite because as you know, I love snacks 
and sweet things. So snacks and desserts are my favorite. But there are so many great substitutions out there. Nothing is off limits on WW. That's exactly why I love this program. So you just make savvy swaps, healthier options, lower point options, and you can still indulge in your very favorite foods. So if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, I'm going to link them down below for you. We had a breakfast edition, a lunch and dinner edition, a condiments edition, and this one here, snacks and desserts. So I've given you so many options for savvy swaps and eat this, not that on WW that I'm sure your head is spinning with everything that I've shared with you, but I've really enjoyed doing this series. I do have a ton of other great kind of video series and new things coming out on my channel in 2020, and I can't wait to share all of them with you. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love it if you'd stick around, join my YouTube friends and family and subscribe, hit the little bell. That way you're just notified whenever I upload something new. Give this one a thumbs up if you have loved this series and comment down below my friends. I want to hear what did I share with you today that you had no idea that you could swap out and still enjoy on WW. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been so much fun and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye! What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he stops?